Racing Bowden, right now in the NBA, there's a lot of activity going on in the off season. Just a little bit. You got you got Rose, you got Wade, you got Durant, all making big moves. And in sports like that, the whole world talks about it. Yeah. But you've been able to to do some great things in fencing for yourself and achieve world number one rankings, but also to really put yourself on the map. Now with you making similar moves, the fencing community is talking about that. Yeah. How does that conversation really kind of validate your level as one of the, the best fencers in the country? Oh, I mean, I... In, I, in, in, I guess, the history of the country, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I would say... I mean, people talking about you means you're in the spotlight. It doesn't mean that you're doing the right thing, because you can also be doing the wrong thing. It doesn't mean that you're, uh, you know, the best in the world, because we know that people talk about people who aren't the best in the world, and so for me, the fact that people are talking about me actually doesn't really validate me on anything. Um, it more just means that people are talking about me. And, you know, like what, they follow me on Instagram, they see my life through a, through a pinhole, and, uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to have fans. I'm very happy for the support they've given me. But I'm also very happy to uh, like have this opportunity to like talk about it a little bit because, you know, sometimes I feel like it gets uh, mixed up. And, I, and for me, it's it's a really it's a simple decision. It was I fence. I, I don't do anything else. I go to school. Uh, I didn't. I sorry. I don't go to school. I don't. Uh, you know, like I don't have a, like a full time job. Fencing is my job, and fencing is what I love to do. And so I moved to California to fence. Um, it was just simply a matter of. Uh, me looking for the next step in my career to further my education in the sport, to deepen my understanding of it, and, and that's how I work. When I feel like I have an understanding of fencing and I have an understanding of my opponents, then I can beat them. Um, and so I kind of felt like I was lacking some of that understanding at a, at a level that I wanted to, to have it at, and so I made the switch. You know, pe people talk about it being timing, whether it's after the, you know, coming forth on the team, and, you know, I say that, I always tell people that's a catalyst. Um, I've said I would have loved to work with Sergey for a really long time. I was 17. What am I going to do? Move out of the house and move to California? Like, yes, I could have, but it wasn't the right time. And I also wasn't in the right mindset to kind of work with him because it takes a different kind of character. It's like a character building situation to be that kind of uh, to be in that kind of situation and work with someone who is obviously superior. To me. Um, I never had a falling out with Dan. I still love Brooklyn Bridge fencing. Um, I love all the fencers who are there. Sam's still one of my really good friends. Uh, Dan's one of the is up to this point the best coach I've ever had. Um, now I think Sergey's the best coach I ever had, but that's what you you know have to think. Otherwise, you wouldn't be working with him. Um, but uh, you know, Dan literally gave me night and day for three years of his life, and to kind of get up and leave that was a real big struggle for me, like to separate myself from him and someone who's not only like my coach but my friend was, was really really difficult but I think that at the end of the day like Dan knows that like my life revolves around fencing and um, and when I feel static or I like feel like there's a change and sometimes that's just a gut feeling you know I, I go for those gut feelings I've done it my entire life and it's led me to where I am now and uh, I'm just I'm just really like really happy to be learning a different and deeper level of fencing and it's not that Dan couldn't have taught me that it's just that I needed to change in the way that fencing was taught um, I think Dan's understanding of fencing is extremely deep and has worlds and worlds to teach um, I think Sergey's is too and uh, sometimes it's just about the right kind of learning method like you go into a classroom when you're a little kid and someone tells you to, to memorize the alphabet you can't do it and they teach you a song and suddenly you know the whole thing so it's just, uh, for me, it's about learning the learning structure, the amount of knowledge, different types of knowledge, and just, you know, where I am at my career. To explain it to you guys, to explain it to anyone who's listening, I'm never going to be able to do it. It's not about you guys, it's about me. Um, I'm happy to be over there. I'm happy to be in California. I'm happy to have learned how to drive a car at 23. I'm, you know, happy to be working with Sergey. I'm happy to be working with the kids in my club. I'm happy with the sparring partners I have, and I wouldn't be anywhere else in the world. And... That's up to me, and that's how I feel. And uh, to to explain it, that that's that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Race. One year ago, you were the world's number one men's number one ranked men's foilist. Yeah. You mentioned this year 
coming in fourth in Olympic qualification. Why now? Uh, okay. Um, as far as the change, why, why the change? Yeah. Uh, the change is a change due to where I want to go, not about where I am now. I'm the fourth, I'm the fifth, fourth best fencer in the entire world right now. I can move up a few spots. Um, there's a couple guys in front of me from the U.S. team. It's unfortunate they had great seasons. Um, I'm not dragging behind by any means. Uh, you know, everyone has ups and downs. Everyone has good seasons, bad seasons. Everybody has, uh, you know, kind of moments. But for me, it's, you know, I'm taking a shift in my mentality. And I, I'm not going to tell you guys because that's mine and, and where I want to focus. And um, But the change came now because it's the right time. It's time for me to learn from somebody else. It's time for me to take a different approach to learning and take an approach to learning that's going to be a lot harder on me. That means me being an adult and me living on my own and also me just kind of being ready to be criticized a lot harder. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited about that. Um, there is no now. It's it's actually, I, you know, for all I know, we always joke around that I should have done it years ago. So... Uh, yeah, it's now for you guys. It's just it's been in my head for a long time. It's just the same thing. It's fencing first, and it's, I'm just fencing in another place, learning a different way. Absolutely. All right, Race. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks. Best wishes.